Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey, before we get into this video, I wanted to kind of give y'all a heads up that it's kind of long, uh, but this video was not for perfection. You know, this chicken was a total experiment, both for the cookers and uh, for the brining process, you know, slash seasoning that, uh, that I did. Uh, also want to point out that around the nine close to ten minute mark I kinda misread a probe and so there's a few minutes in there if you wanna skip ahead watch the whole thing if you want to I don't care I don't get paid for these things um, but you can skip ahead and get to the results the results are a little surprising but not too surprising so uh, just hang out uh, they may they're gonna make great Popeyes um, but hope you enjoy it uh, put it up under some brutal conditions uh, you know uh, we didn't take the expert approach to either cooker you know we we did them wrong you know it's a straight raw video but wanted to see you know uh, what the average person walking into these things would be able to produce right away and I think we accomplished that so I hope you enjoy this hopes it helps see you. it's the intro D's cute, it's the intro. It's time to eat, it's the intro. D's cute, it's the intro. What time is it? It's time to eat! Daddy, maybe you should stick to cooking. Alright, let's go eat. What's up, y'all? It's D. Welcome back to the backyard. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to do a video, a little quick little side by side chicken comparison uh, with the charbroil versus Lone Star. Yes, 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 I know. Apples, oranges. However, I want uh, people to know that you don't necessarily have to have all of this, all of that, latest gadgets, so forth, so on, to make some good food. So we're going to do a little side-by-side. -side. We have two chickens, came in the same pack, same size, season them the same. I'm going to stick one on Charbroil, put one on Lone Star. Right now, we're dialing it in. We're going to keep it somewhere between 275 and 300. This is the temp probe for that, and Lone Star is slowly creeping up. So, having a little bit of time on that. So, we're going to just do a side by side just to see how it turns out. Of course, I know, you know, fuel efficiency is not going to be the same. Uh, of course, I know cooking times are going to vary you know of course you know there are so many you know things that come in but i want people to see that grand scheme of things this is going to be okay you know it, it's going to do some really good barbecue and um you know not to hesitate when it comes to you know these type of cookers because not everybody needs to get you know stuff like that so some people don't have the room capacity or desire for it but just want to showcase charbroil really fast and get this cook on. All right. I'm going to throw this on here. I'm going to put a little water down in the pan. I'm going to do the same to the other chicken. Uh, use Cuisinart's uh, sweet paprika seasoning on this. Love it. Try it if you haven't. I did a um, buttermilk dry brine, so a powdered buttermilk on this thing. And uh, not running anything inside of here cooking it on the first grate not the top but the bottom grate and mainly I'm doing this doing it this way for easy cleanup in both cookers but it's going to be the same for each one I'm going to check back in not that many updates because uh, the nitty-gritty is the results and that's what I'm going to showcase all right guys uh, oh no stokers I talk about this being able to uh, having the ability to be uh, controlled manually really easily and so that's what I'm going to showcase no stoker on the IBS either so, keeping it simple today going back to basics just a quick pop in when I say you can dial these things in I really mean you can dial these things in love it all right, so here's the thermometer for the charbroil. You'll notice that it is a little higher than what I wanted, and by a little, more than I like, definitely. I don't want a 20 degree difference. It had been riding at about 10 degrees uh, for a while, uh, so around that 280 something range, and then it started picking up a little bit. 
and I'm assuming the reason for that uh, is because of the gust of wind that we've had out here and that when we lift this lid off it's going to reveal that the little bit of water that was in there that was acting like a stabilizing heat sink has probably all evaporated at this point so that's what I am expecting to see but it's okay because uh, temperatures aren't swinging uh, back and forth wild like or anything like that so I understand the process you open up the uh, vents wide enough to hold it at a specific temperature under specific conditions and once one of those conditions are no longer in play of course you know you're going to have an adverse reaction all right over here on the Lone Star 288 so a little again a little higher no big deal. Uh, we were cruising kind of low. Couldn't really get it past 250 for a while. So I opened it all the way up and then got it over where I needed it and I shut it back down. Opened up the stack just to kind of get things going. Right now, the only reason that I am out here right now is so that I can throw meat probes into the chicken so that we can monitor that I want to get them off at a similar time that way we can do a true comparison uh, I generally like my birds lower to mid to uh, lower <laughs> lower to mid uh, 170 range so we'll hopefully shoot for that and uh, I'm gonna put this on pause so that I can get the probes together and uh, bring it back so that I can show you guys what the birds look like. I'm very curious myself. I'm not sure if I'm going to spritz or not. You know what? I think I am going to spritz a little butter on them. I'm going to go in the house real quick, do that, get probes, and let you guys see what they look like. All right, here we go. Why do fathers take an extra pair of socks when they go golfing? In case they get a hole in one. <laughs> a glare, 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 glare. There's a glare. Okay. Thought you guys might want to check this out. Let's see. It's been steady. You know, it's no wild temp swings or anything like that. Whew. Let's check it. It's freezing out here, y'all. Check out the uh, thermometer. And a Lone Star. Whew. Mm -hmm. See, this one's a little more crazy because I've had to play with it a little bit. Okay, let's take a look at this chicken. Alright, so we got a little bit of darkness right there. But so far, looks pretty good, I would say. And if you don't, you don't deserve to eat it. So you don't get none. Ha! We're gonna put you right there. We're gonna call it a day. So just pour a little water in the pan. Keep the steam process going. Yeah, that's gonna be disgusting. That is a lot of seasoning all bunched up it's buttermilk so it's not very strong it's just weird to see it's coming along pretty well though uh oh I messed up the presentation dun, dun, dun. all right I'm gonna close him up let it cook coming over to the Lone Star let the smoke out where are my gloves? Where are my gloves? Focus phone. Focus old phone. All right, here it is. It's too much smoke. Didn't want to focus. Didn't want to focus. Oh, the ribs are back there and they look pretty good, don't they? Slide this out without burning myself. I forgot to spritz the other chicken down with the butter so 
We are making some serious progress here, people. All right, we're going to come back when these birds are about ready to go. So far, the color on this one is magnificent. But I allowed the other one to get much higher in temperature. This one's been cooking at a much slower rate. So can't really blame it. Plus, this one has a significant more amount of water in it. I did not mean to. I should have kept the study, the experiment, a little more universal. A little, uh, little more standard than that. Probably shouldn't have put that extra pan with water in there. I assume that it's making a difference. Regardless, I think that we will still... That rib is good. I think that we'll still uh, get a pretty good result out of the char bro. I'll just do what I do. Make it good. Alright. Open up the char bro really quick. Get a little bit of uh, butter on it. And uh, check back probably once everything is finished cooking. Both birds. Or if one gets done, you know, we'll do a slice. Yeah, that'll work. We'll do that. All right. All right. Pulling this off, as you can see, 175. Aesthetically speaking, I think most people would choose this bird. Oh, um. Probably shouldn't have started him off in the uh, in the pan. Should let shouldn't have been lazy. Not wanting to get my Rex dirty. It's cold. I don't feel like cleaning this like that. So I was trying to be as lazy as possible. But got a little pan messing up under there. It's all good. So 175. Now the thing about this is, this took much longer to come up to temperature. So this bird got put on easily over an hour after the char bro but it got this bird done much quicker so obviously long cooks this will come in super handy because these are wrapping up at close to the same amount of time this bird is at 171 i have to leave it on for four more degrees to get make everything even so we'll check back once i pull the other one off and i get a side by side and it shouldn't should just be a few minutes, but we'll see how it looks. All right, I lied. Just flip, flip, there it is. So the probe was not all the way down in there on the other bird, so it still has a little ways to go. Hit 157. Ah, <sighs> this one's at 171. I'm gonna pull it. It looks nice and roasted. Looks nice and smoked. Doesn't look terrible. I didn't play to this cooker's strengths. I was trying to make it as basic and difficult learning curve-ish as possible. And uh, you know, you can see little things that look a little weird. I stacked up all of the fuel on one side and put it down on the lowest rate uh, grate without any water in the water pan, which it prefers uh, without a true heat deflector and that bowl is mainly there you know to hold water slight heat deflector but we all know that none of the bowls are the best when it comes to heat deflection whether you're talking Weber Smoky Mountain or this but so far not a bad looking bird Ooh, poke it there's juices in there no that's not injected so this thing did all right we're gonna pull him 171 Let's see how it works We are done. Still need about one more degree, but you know, we only got this to 170. But for the sake of science, we're gonna call this. Not bad. All right, let's pull them out, get it rest, cut it, taste test. This, after the experiment, this is the charbroil, and interestingly enough, this is the Lone Star. Now, 
the buttermilk powder got clumped up, got dark. Uh, and then, you know, obviously, I uh, was trying to dumb everything down like I was doing a, a learning curve, um, you know, with the charbroil. If y'all seen my turkey videos or if y'all, you know, get birds from me, y'all know what they look like normally. Needless to say, got about the same consistency. I think the charbroil ended up coming out a little bit of more of a winter. And, uh, you know, the color looks a little different off camera, but... Uh, it's not, you know, golden mahogany like uh, like everybody used to. So I'm going to cut these up, and we're going to take a look. Hang on. All right, so here's the one from the charbroil, and uh, here's you know, a little, little bite from it. Did bite it. Very nice. Not the juiciest thing ever, but definitely not dry. Here's Lone Star. It was obviously not extremely juicy. But given the circumstances from this test, you know, obviously, you know, we cook them a little differently in other circumstances, but this one was a little more moist than the other from Charbroil. Not very much, just barely noticeable. So, I say Charbroil, when it comes to throwing out the Q, can hang with them, can roll with the big dogs, and of course, you know, this fight wasn't, you know, really you know each fighter each contestant you know wasn't in the best of shape for this fight you know we didn't really play to anybody's true strengths we basically just do these things on the grill just to see how they would do and how they would turn out just to see if they would be comparable uh compat comparable blam just got that out uh you know from your everyday box store cooker to you know custom built cooker so yeah i say you can still get some really good cue out of it don't hesitate to pull the trigger if you're interested in that char bro it's nice all right y'all hope this helps uh y'all stay warm stay happy let me know what you think uh this experiment was kind of weird it got kind of weird for a second because it got kind of cold and threw my game plan off i ended up throwing some ribs on and yeah it just got a little different but i did want to do a side by side so, and as you can see, in even in weird conditions, things still come out almost comparable. So, all right. Ooh, good. Y'all take care. Have a good night. See you.